serverless is not just lambda. There is more to serverless than lambda. Whew. Now that we got that out of our way, hello guys, Raj here, Solutions Architect from AWS. In this video, we are gonna look at the properties that makes a service serverless. All right, let's get to it. Okay, let's look at the properties that makes a service serverless. Number one, no servers to provision or manage, either physical or virtual. Number two, automatically scales with usage. You do not need to set up auto scaling separately. Number three, never pay for idle. If you are not using it, you are not paying for it. Last but not the least, availability and fault tolerance built in. If an AWS service fulfills these four requirements, that means that service is serverless. All right, let's pressure test some of the services. Let's look at Amazon SQS or Simple Queue Service. It is a fully managed message queuing service that enables you to decouple and scale microservices, distributed systems, and serverless applications. For SQS, you don't need to set up any servers. So rule number one, satisfied. SQS automatically scales with usage. And you only pay when you send some messages through SQS. So you never pay for idle. And it is inherently highly available. So you do not have to set up multi-AZ manually. So my question to you is, is SQS serverless? Yes, it is. Now let's look at another service, Amazon Kinesis. Amazon Kinesis makes it easy to collect, process, and analyze real-time streaming data so you can get timely insights and react quickly to new information. Do you have to provision servers for Amazon Kinesis? Nope. Okay, so rule number one stands. Does it automatically scale with usage? No, you have to define the shards based on your traffic volume. And on that note, you also have to pay for those shards even if no messages are going through it. However, availability and fault tolerance is built in. Okay, so Amazon Kinesis does not satisfy all the four rules of serverless. So is it serverless? Nope, not serverless. Finally, let's take a look at Amazon EC2. EC2 is a virtual machine itself, so you have to provision and manage the server. To make it scale, you have to set up auto scaling group on top of it. And if the EC2 is running, you have to pay for it. Doesn't matter if the utilization is zero. And to make it highly available and fault tolerant, you have to set up auto scaling group and load balancer. So Amazon EC2 is not serverless. So now you know what makes a service serverless. So let's take a look at some of the different services beyond Lambda, which are serverless. So for compute, of course, we have Lambda and AWS Fargate. For storage, we have Aurora Serverless, DynamoDB, and Amazon S3. And for integration and analytics, Amazon API Gateway, SQS, Step Functions, Glue, SNS, AppSync, all of these, serverless. And there are more. However, remember that serverless is not be all end all. You have to pick the service that best satisfies the requirement and design. Does not matter whether it's serverless or not. To quote our fearless leader, we don't believe in one tool to rule the world. We want you to use the right tool for the right job, says Andy Jassy, CEO of AWS. All right, guys, that is the video. If you like this video, please smash that like button and click subscribe. More videos are coming soon. See you guys later. Peace.